Oh, that one is absolutely beautiful. Welcome back to Ask the Energy Advisor. I'm Brian Hawk, the Energy Advisor for Noble REMC. Today we're going to talk about sealing up attic hatches. We've got an attic hatch up here in the closet of this upstairs room. Um, this is another potential uh, substantial air loss or air leakage for most homes. Um, one thing we really want to look at is this one is just a drywall lay-in attic hatch. You also have a, a lift, a, more of a door type attic hatch. You have a ladder attic hatch. And one thing that we'd like to address as well is if your attic hatch happens to be in the garage, you don't need to watch this video. So with that, we're going to talk about what tools we need for the job today. Um, something we haven't talked about previously is it's always a good idea to have a pair of safety glasses. Today we're going to need a tape measure. You can either use a utility knife or a pair of scissors. We're going to have some construction adhesive, some uh, siliconized base caulk. We have some <coughs> rubber weather seal and then obviously our caulk gun. So with that, we're going to get up in the attic. So before we get up in the attic, let's just talk real quickly about where the air leakage takes place. Um, before we started this video, I went ahead and shot a thermal image of this and we're going to paste that into the video, but you'll see the purple to orange lines and the orange lines are taking place right around here, around the trim, where this drywall rests inside and then a little bit on the outside of this trim where it meets the drywall as well. So anytime you try to get into something above your head, it's always a good idea to have your safety glasses on. This is really about the only time you're gonna need safety glasses on this video. So if you find yourself needing safety glasses to run the caulk gun, that's just natural selection. So here we go. Okay, so we've got the drywall removed up here. Um, I don't know if you can tell real well, but right up here, there's a pretty substantial crack in between the drywall and the trim here. We actually have some cracks between the drywall and the framing itself. Um, the manner in which way that we're going to seal this hatch up today, this is not really going to be a game changer between the drywall and the framing. Um, it could potentially be an issue on a different type of attic hatch, but since we bought an entire tube of caulk, we're going to use the entire tube of caulk. So we're going to seal that up to make sure it does not become an issue. And we've got a little bit of drywall mud and some cellulose insulation up on top of the trim here that we're going to clean up real quick to make sure that we have a <clears throat> good base for our self-adhesive um, weather seal to stick to. And we'll get right to it. And while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and get started caulking. And since this is above the attic hatch, be, feel free to be liberal with your caulk. Okay, so I've brought up three different types of seals with me. Um, we are going to be using what I would call a D seal. This is a rubberized peel and stick weather strip, <clears throat> and it will be placed right up here on top of this trim. And we talked at the start of the video if this was a different type of attic hatch where you had a smooth side up here and you didn't have the trim protruding out past the framing. Um, you might recognize this guy from our door seal video this actually is that's all it is the door seal that's that bead that gets pushed back into the door jam um, you could actually staple that up it's a little bit cumbersome in here but you could staple that up flush against the wall and then your door or your hatch would sit down in there and compress that down um, if you wanted something and maybe you just have this laying around but if you wanted something a little more rigid you know this again is from our door video you could actually screw this right into your framing and it's the same thing. It's a rubberized gasket seal that once you get that drywall set back down or a wood panel set back down, especially after we put some weight on it, that would seal down and give you a very good, uh, maybe not airtight seal, nothing's perfect, but these are all three very good options for sealing your attic hatch. Um, just a little helpful tip that I did not follow myself. Maybe a good idea to measure for your seal before you caulk everything, because now this could be quite messy. So on two sides, we actually have the ability to just eyeball it and get it close. 
It's not going to hurt to go past our trim up here. Like I said, everything is pretty much hidden. So this is not a beauty contest. And I'm going to set this a, about a sixteenth of an inch back away from the edge of the trim. Be careful not to take away too much tape until you're ready to adhere the seal. Don't stretch your seal as you're laying it out. Just gently lay it down. And again, press it in place. Okay, we've got all of our weather seal installed. Um, this is the back side of our drywall hatch panel. What we're gonna do is we've got two inch rigid foam here. This happens to be, I believe, poly ISO, but um, I really recommend two inch rigid foam as a weight on top of this because we're looking for the thermal properties and the weight properties both to actually push this panel down onto the seal that we just installed. So this two inch foam does a real good job of achieving both. Um, I'm just simply using an adhesive here and this adhesive is recommended or it is able to be used with foam. Not all adhesives can be used with foam. So make sure you read your instruction label. And these foam boards are actually undersized slightly on this drywall panel so that when you put it up there and try and drop it in place, you do not have to wrestle it around. Um, homeowner actually already had these pre-cut and they were laying up there on top of that panel when we got started. Wonder where he learned that from. But what I'd also recommend is glue one piece to your drywall panel, glue your other three or four up or five, whatever you want to install, but glue those up separately so that you can make sure we've got a tight fit up here with the shelving unit there. So just gonna glue one to this panel, get it up, get it in the attic. I'm gonna glue these three together, get them up and get them in the attic. And then I'm going to glue the last three or glue this remaining to the top of this one. That way I'm, I'm positive that they will fit through the hole and it will all not be for naught. So there you have it. A quick and easy way to insulate and air seal your attic hatch. Um, this could be a substantial energy saver for your home moving forward. So looking forward to the next video. If you have any questions, just feel free to give me a call. Again, Brian Hawk, Energy Advisor, Noble REMC.